Hi, happy to see you in our channel Universal Maths. In this video, I'm going to provide you with two interesting solutions of this tricky problem. But before starting, pause the video, try it yourself, and find out these two solutions. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the like button. Watch the video till the end, and you will be surprised with my solutions. Let's get started. We have to find out x here. The first way of solving this problem is to continue this line. So if we will continue, we can see that EH line will be parallel to the lines, to the two lines, AD and BC, and which means that if these two angles will be alpha and alpha, this angle will be also alpha. And if this will be better here, it will be also better, and this will be also better. Which means that these three line segments will be equal to each other. And we can see that DC is divided by two line segments that are equal. Which means that EH will be a midline here. And now we can find out a midline by the formula 8 plus 6 over 2, which will give us 7. And now we can find out the FH line segment, which is 2 plus FH will be equal to 7. Now FH here will be equal to 5. As the DH and HC are equal, we have to multiply this by 2 and we'll get the answer. Now let me give you the second solution of this problem. We know that this is beta here, this is alpha, and this angle is alpha plus beta, which means that this angle will be 90 degrees. Why is so? Because alpha plus beta plus alpha plus beta, the angle F, have to give us 180 degrees, which means that alpha plus beta have to give us 90 degrees. Now we can see the FC angle is 90 degrees. Now we can draw a line segment here. This side will be 4 and this side will be 6 here. If this will be 2, this side will be 6. Now we can find out the cosine alpha here and cosine beta from the two triangles. From the triangle FDC, the cosine alpha will be equal to FC over X. And the, from the triangle FIC, we can find out also the cosine alpha and it will be equal to 6 over fc <coughs> and the cosine beta we can find out that it will be equal to fd over x will be equal to 4 over fd and here fc squared will be equal to 6x and the f d squared will be equal to 4x. And now we can use the Pythagorean theorem and 6x plus 4x will be equal to x squared. x squared minus 10x. 10x will be equal to 0. And now we can take out from the bracket x. It will be x times x minus 10 will be equal to 0, and we can equal each of them to the 0, and we can get that x will be equal to 0, or the x has to be equal to 10. We know that x cannot be equal to 0, and the answer will be 10. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.